హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు విద్యా టీవీ ఈ పర్టికులర్ వీడియోలో మనం సింగరేణి కాలరీస్ సంబంధించిన కొన్ని మోడల్ క్వశ్చన్స్ చూద్దాం వెరీ మచ్ యూస్ఫుల్ ఫర్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ట్రైనింగ్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ఈ అండ్ ఎం ఎలక్ట్రి ఎలక్ట్రికల్ అండ్ మెకానికల్ సంబంధించిన మేనేజ్మెంట్ ట్రైనింగ్ కూడా వెరీ మచ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అదేవిధంగా సివిల్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ సబ్ ఓవర్స్ ఇయర్ ట్రైనింగ్ కూడా వెరీ మచ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సో ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ హౌ మెనీ ఎలాస్టిక్ కాన్స్టెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ అ లీనియర్ ఎలాస్టిక్ ఐసోట్రోపిక్ మెటీరియల్ విల్ బీ హౌ మెనీ ఎలాస్టిక్ కాన్స్టెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ అ లీనియర్ ఎలాస్టిక్ ఐసోట్రోపిక్ మెటీరియల్ విల్ బీ అండ్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ ఏ ఇట్ ఈస్ టూ ఇట్ విల్ హ్యావ్ టూ ఎలాస్టిక్ కాన్స్టెంట్స్ నెక్స్ట్ హౌ కెన్ ద పాయిజన్స్ రేషియో బీ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్డ్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ బల్క్ మాడ్యూలర్స్ and modulus of rigidity how can be the poisson's ratio be expressed in terms of bulk modulus and modulus of rigidity and the answer is it can be expressed as 3k three 3k minus 2g by 6k plus 2g so option c is the right answer 3k కే మైనస్ టూ జీ బై సిక్స్ కే ప్లస్ టూ జీ సో ఆప్షన్ సి ఈస్ ద రైట్ ఆన్సర్ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈస్ సో యా నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ వాట్ విల్ బీ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ పాయిజన్స్ రేషియో ఇఫ్ ద యంగ్స్ మాడ్యులస్ ఈ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ద బల్క్ మాడ్యులస్ what will be the value of poisson's ratio if the young's modulus is equal to the bulk modulus next question is what will be the value of poisson's ratio if the young's modulus is equal to the bulk modulus what will be the value of poisson's ratio if the young's modulus is equal to bulk modulus so this can be found out by using this equation bulk modulus equals to e by 3 1 minus 2 mu ఈ ఈక్వేషన్ తోటి మనం వీ కెన్ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ద వాల్యూ అండ్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ ఆప్షన్ సి వన్ బై త్రీ సో ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ పాయిజన్ రేషియో ఇఫ్ యంగ్స్ మోడ్లెస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు బల్క్ మోడ్లెస్ ఈజ్ వన్ బై త్రీ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ ఫర్ మోడ్యులెస్ ఆఫ్ రిజిడిటీ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ మోడ్లెస్ ఆఫ్ ఎలాస్టిసిటీ అండ్ పాయిజన్స్ రేషియో మోడ్లెస్ ఆఫ్ రిజిడిటీ in terms of modulus of elasticity and poisson's ratio and the answer is g equals to e by 2 into 1 plus mu this is the answer g equals to e by 2 into 1 plus mu relation between rigidity modulus and young's modulus very very important e equals g equals to e by 2 1 plus mu g ante rigidity modulus e ante young's modulus right next question is what is the relationship between young's modulus modulus of rigidity and bulk modulus and what is the relationship between all the three elastic constants and the answer is the relation between e c and k is 9kc by e equals to 9kc by 3k plus c e equals to 9kc by 3k plus c the relation between all the three elastic constants e equals to 9kc by 3k plus c next question a member a b c d is subjected to point loads p1 equals to 45 kilo newtons p2 equals to it didn't give us the value of p2 p3 equals to 450 kilo newtons and p4 equals to 130 kilo newtons what will be the value of p2 yes he is asking us to find out what is the value of p2 clearly if you look at the diagram p1 and uh, p3 are in one direction p2 and p4 are in the opposite direction so equating the forces p1 plus p4 
equals to P1 plus, no, sorry, P2 plus P4 equals to P1 plus P3. Okay, relation is P2 plus P4 equals to P1 plus P3. We have P1 value, P2 value. We have P1, P3 and P4 value. We can find out the, uh, we can find out the P2 value. P4 is given, P1 is given, P3 is given. What is the P2 value? Equal and opposite forces. P2 plus P2 plus P4 equals to P1 plus P3 equation use chase koni. If you find out, answer will become, we get the answer as the value of P2 as 365 kilo newtons. Opposite forces equate the opposite forces. Option B is the right answer, 365 kilo newtons. Next question is the point through which the whole weight of the body acts is called as what? The point through which the whole weight of the body acts is called as CG, center of gravity. And the point through which the whole weight of the body acts is called as center of gravity. Okay. Next one is, what is the moment of inertia of a rectangular section about an axis through CG, passing through CG and parallel to the base? And the answer is pi uh, bh cube by 36. Option C is the right answer. bh cube by 36. Then next question is, what is mass moment of inertia? What is mass moment of inertia of a right circular cone of radius r and height h about its axis? What is mass moment of inertia of a right circular cone? And the answer is, 3 mr square by 10 answer is option c 3 mr square by 10 option c is the right answer 3 mr square by 10 next question is what is the mass moment of inertia of circular plate what is the mass moment of inertia of circular plate and the answer is mr square by 4 mr square by 4 Mass moment of inertia of circular plate is mr square by 4. Next question, elastic line is also called as what? Elastic line is also called as deflection curve. Elastic line is also called as deflection curve. Next question, in a simply supported beam, the slope is dash at the supports. In a simply supported beams, the slope is maximum at the support. The slope is maximum at the supports. Next, in simply supported beam, deflection is maximum at what? In simply supported beam, the deflection is maximum at the mid span. In simply supported beam, the deflection is maximum at the mid span. Next, DAS is used to reduce the time of hardening of concrete. What is used to reduce the time of her hardening of concrete? It is called as retarder. Option C, it is called as retarder. Next question. Stiffness of the beam is inversely proportional to dash of the beam. Stiffness of the beam is inversely proportional to the dash of the beam. It is pro inversely proportional to the deflection of the beam inversely proportional to the deflection of the beam in a cantilever beam the deflection occurs at what in a cantilever beam the deflection occurs at the free end cantilever beam the deflection occurs at the free end dash is a measure of strength of the shaft in rotation dash is the measure of strength of shaft in rotation so polar modulus is a measure of strength of shaft in rotation. Polar modulus is a measure of strength of shaft in rotation. Next, the angle of twist can be written as what? It can be written as TL by CJ. T is the torsion, torque, L is the length of the shaft, C is the rigidity modulus and J is the polar moment of inertia. T by J equals to 
c theta by l this is also equal to tau by r this is the torsion equation t by j equal c theta by l so theta equals t l by c j so option c is the right answer using the torsion equation next question is the power transmitted by the shaft is given by what the power transmitted by the shaft is given by 2 pi nt by 60 2 pi nt by 60 that is option a is the right answer the power transmitted by the shaft is 2 pi nt by 60 in the equation m equals to 2j minus 3 the letter j stands for what it is related to frames letter stands j stands for joints whereas m stands for number of members next question is what is the moment of inertia of circular section what is the moment of inertia of circular section and the answer is it is pi d power 4 by 64 option a is the right answer pi d power 4 by 64 so these are the questions very much important for management trainee civil as well as e and m and uh, civil uh, over sub overseer trainee right thank you